Bumblefoot, also called pododermatitis, is a relatively common problem in pet chickens and ducks, and it affects the bottom of the bird's feet. There are a number of causes, but commonly it's caused by environmental factors such as the ground being too wet and muddy, or too dry, or pressure on the bottom of the feet, which can be a factor in heavy birds or ducks and geese. All of these factors can result in scratches or bruising on the bottom of the feet, which increases the risk of bacteria penetrating the bottom of the foot and causing an infection. There are several stages of bumblefoot infection, which can be very mild, only affecting the surface of the skin, to severe, which may involve joints. This is a fairly mild case of bumblefoot, and it shows the classic dark mark on the surface of the foot. This is a moderate case of bumblefoot. This bird is missing a toe, which affects how she distributes weight on the foot, causing pressure on the toes. Check for bumblefoot as part of your regular bird health check. This can simply be done by holding the bird under your non-dominant arm and extending the feet to examine with your free hand. Clean the feet if necessary to ensure you don't confuse bumblefoot lesions with dirt. This bird's feet are in good shape. They are clean, smooth and have an even colour. But any areas of swelling or discoloration on the skin may indicate early bumblefoot. If you suspect early bumblefoot, wash the bird's feet thoroughly and soak in water for 10 minutes daily with a gentle skin cleanser such as chlorhexidine to help exfoliate the skin. Multivitamins with biotin, vitamin A and zinc are good for repairing skin, also keep the bird on soft ground. If the bumblefoot doesn't resolve or the bird is lame, it will be necessary to take the bird to a vet for pain relief and possible wound debriding to remove the infection. Please do not try this at home. Without appropriate veterinary training, access to anaesthetics or pain relief, this could cause significant distress to the bird and will be incredibly painful. Bumblefoot can be prevented, but it may be necessary to review the bird's environment. Ensure a soft and even floor substrate. Any hard, rough surfaces, such as concrete, can be abrasive and cause damage to the foot pad. A bit of concrete is fine, but the birds must have access to soft flooring too. Outdoor runs must have proper drainage to prevent flooding and wet mud. This is difficult during the winter, but pallets or raised areas and perches will at least give the birds somewhere dry to stand. Water for swimming must be available at all times for ducks and geese. Waterfowl are not designed to walk on land for extended periods. Swimming can help to relieve the pressure on webbed feet and reduces the risk of developing bumblefoot.